Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be giving my NBA DraftKings picks for Friday, November 24th. Uh, we got a nine game slate on this Friday, so a nice size slate today. Uh, one thing to note guys, I am recording this video a lot uh, earlier than I normally record my videos. I said this before, but I record my videos the night before. Uh, since there was no NBA games on Thursday, there wasn't a slate on Thursday, I figured I'd go ahead and get this video out as soon as I could. So I'm recording this uh, about Thursday afternoon. No teams are playing on Thursday, so there shouldn't be any injury concerns we have to worry about. And as of now, there aren't really any big injuries, uh, guys questionable that we're worried about. The only guy I think that's really important is Nikola Jokic, but I'm expecting him to play. So shouldn't have any injuries pop up if things do. I will be sure to update you guys on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. Make sure you give me a follow there. If you haven't already, uh, the link will be in the description. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started looking at this Friday slate, looking at some point guards. All right, so at point guard up top of this position, uh, we got Russell Westbrook playing at home against Detroit. Uh, me personally, I don't think I'm going to be playing Westbrook today. There are just other studs that I like. Obviously, Westbrook, if you want to pay up for him, I think he's fine. I feel like the days we want to play Westbrook are the, get, are the games where he's going up against like the Warriors. These kind of games uh, we saw in his last game against the Warriors, he really got up for that game, just had a monster game, put up like 60, uh, 67, 70 DraftKings points. Yes, uh, 67 DraftKings points in his last game against the Warriors. Those are the kind of games we want to play Westbrook where it's nationally televised, those big games. Those are the games that Westbrook really gets up for. Um, going up against Detroit, just don't think I'm going to be on Westbrook here. I think there are other studs I'd rather have that are in his price range. Uh, Steph Curry at 9,600 going up against the Bulls. Obviously, this is a good matchup for Curry. There is definitely blowout concern here. Uh, this game could be over by halftime, could be over by the third quarter. I think you're definitely going to want to get some exposure to the Warriors because they should definitely be able to put up points. But like I said, this game could be over by the third quarter. And at 9,600, I think there are just other studs I'd rather have. Not saying Curry is a bad play, but I just uh, would rather pay it for other guys that I think are going to be in competitive games that could really go off. So I'll probably not be paying up for point guard today. Just not really intrigued by the options. Kyrie Irving's interesting playing at home at 8,300 against Orlando. But uh, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be paying up for point guard today. There are some guys I really like in this mid-tier. Uh, one of those guys that I really like, one of my favorite plays, Early looks at this slate. I think I'm going to have a ton of exposure to him today. Uh, and that is Dennis Schroeder at just 6,600, playing at home against the Knicks. Um, I think Dennis Schroeder today is just way too cheap, especially given this matchup. We know the Knicks are not a very good basketball team. They can't defend point guards. Uh, so this is a great spot for Dennis Schroeder. He has a very nice price tag on him today at 6,600. Uh, for him to return cash game value on that price tag, we're only going to need about 33, 34 DraftKings points. And Schroeder's been average, averaging that this year. He's averaging... 35.5 DK points on the year. So I feel like Schroeder as price tag is a really good cash play. He has upside for tournaments to return 6, 7x on this price, especially if this game stays competitive. Uh, so I think Dennis Schroeder, way too cheap today given the matchup. Have a ton of interest in him in that mid-range at point guard. If you're going to that range, I think he'd be with he would be the guy with target. I'd take him over Dragic, probably take him over Drew Holiday, over Jeff Teague. If I'm going in that 6K range at point guard, uh, Dennis Schroeder, 6,600 guy I really like today in that price range. I'm looking for some point guards that we can maybe target for value. Uh, I said this before, but until Mario Chalmers gets like over 6K, I'm just going to continue to play him. He's only 5,300 today. He's going up against Denver. So I have a ton of interest in Mario Chalmers as well. Going to be plugging him in at 5,300. I think he's a really good value point guard. Uh, if you need value, especially for cash games at his price tag, he shouldn't have a problem returning value on this price. Uh, he's been returning value pretty much every game that he started for Conley. He's been playing pretty good minutes, mid-30s in minutes. And like I said, he's been returning at least 5x value in just about every game. Uh, and in a matchup against Denver, a team that can't defend point guards, I don't see how Chalmers doesn't return 5x on this salary if the game stays close. We're only going to need about 26, 27 DK points from him to return cash game value. Uh, and he's pretty much been doing that every game with Mar or with Mike Conley out. Uh, so with Conley out again, Mario Chalmers, 5,300. Still think the price hasn't caught up to the production, so I'm going to be plugging him in as well at the guard position at 5,300. I think he's a guy you should, uh, you guys should definitely be considering today if you need some value at point guard. And then looking for other value point guards that we can target, maybe 5K and under. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Rajon Rondo's minutes restriction is today. If he doesn't have a restriction or if the restriction is only to like 30 minutes, I think he's definitely a good tournament play at just 4,900. Going up against the Suns, a team that we know can't defend point guards. It's a great matchup for Rondo. Uh, and even in like 20 minutes this year, the guy's still managing a uh, to produce, he put up 20 DraftKings points in 14 minutes against the Raptors. Uh, put up 25 DK points in 25 minutes against Denver. 
Didn't have that good of a game against OKC. Did play 30 minutes in that game, but only put up 20 DK points. Uh, but if Rondo's going to get close to 30 minutes uh, going up against the Suns, I think he's a good tournament play at 4,900. Uh, obviously, if you're playing cash games, I'd just rather find a little bit more salary and get up to Chalmers. Uh, but if you want a guy that's probably going to be some uh, lower ownership today, really good matchup. If he doesn't have a minutes restriction, Rajon Rondo, 4,900. Think you definitely should have some interest in him. And then if we're looking for point guards, they're like 5K and under more value plays. I don't think there are really a ton of value plays I have my interest in uh, this cheap. Maybe like somebody like Jarrett Jack or Frank Nalakina. Uh, both of these guys going up against Atlanta. We know Atlanta can't defend point guards. Uh, they are pretty bad defensively against the point guard. Jarrett Jack just hasn't been producing that great lately. He's so inconsistent that you can't really consider him for cash, even though he's very nicely priced at 3800 The minutes have still been there for him. He's playing close to 30 minutes just about every game. Uh, Neil Aquina has definitely uh, kicked into some of his minutes. Neil Aquina is taking some minutes away from him. Jack is still starting, though. He's still seeing close to 30 minutes. He is facing the uh, Hawks, who can't defend point guards. He is only 3800 So I think if you just want to straight-up punt at point guard, probably go to Jared Jack or Neil Aquina at 4K if... Uh, Neil Akina does miss this game. He's currently questionable. Then definitely want to consider Jared Jack. Should see an increase in minutes uh, if Neil Akina is out. But definitely, guys, I'm not going to be forcing into my lineups today. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's it for point guard, guys. Not a ton of guys I'm uh, really intrigued here. I really like Schroeder in that mid-range. I like Mario Chalmers for value. Definitely like Rajon Rondo as a tournament play for value. Uh, but like in the 6K range, I think there are a couple guys here. Like Drogic is a pivot off of uh, Dennis Schroeder. I think a guy like uh, Reggie Jackson at 6K in a revenge game going back to OKC. Uh, Reggie Jackson did play for OKC like two or three years ago. He could be an option. Uh, but like I said, if I'm going to that 6K range, I'm going with Dennis Schroeder today. He's the point guard I have my eye on. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to shooting guard. All right, so for shooting guard, if you're going to pay up here, definitely would want to roll with uh, Devin Booker at 7,800 going up against the Pelicans. Uh, we know the Pelicans aren't that good defensively against the shooting guard. This is a really good matchup for Devin Booker. I would say the price tag's pretty fair on him. He should be able to return value on that salary. Uh, and Devin Booker's definitely in play for tournaments. He has the upside. He's had multiple games this year with 40-plus. Has one game with 50-plus against Minnesota. Uh, so Devin Booker, definitely a guy you can target in tournaments. I don't think shooting guard is a position I'm going to look to pay up for today in cash games. But tournaments, Devin Booker, 7800 If you want to pay up here, I think he would be a guy with target. Uh, and then in this, in this mid-tier, some 6K uh, shooting guards that we can look to target. It's not the best matchup for Will Barton going up against Memphis, uh, but this guy's been playing really well lately with Paul Millsap out. Millsap's going to be out for a while for Denver. Uh, so Will Barton should continue to start for the Nuggets. He should continue to see plenty of minutes. And one thing to note in their last game against Houston, uh, that game did blow out. That game was pretty much over by the third quarter. Um, when the game was like five minutes, six minutes left, the Nuggets were winning by like 30 points, and Will Barton was still out there. So he's going to get blowout run. Even though he's starting, he's still going to play blowout minutes which is definitely something you'd like to see. I'm not saying this game's going to blow out, uh, but Will Barton, even if it does somehow go wrong, he could be out there getting extra run. He's going to play a ton of minutes now that he's starting, now that Millsap is out. Uh, so if you want to go to that 6K range at point guard, Barton has definitely seen his price increase, but he's playing a ton of minutes. He's been playing really well lately. I would definitely target him at shooting guard at 6K if you want to go to that price range. I'm looking for some shooting guards in this mid-tier, this 5K range. Uh, there's a guy I have a ton of interest in today. And he's at 5,100. Jeremy Lamb going up against Cleveland. Really like Jeremy Lamb. He's one of my five plays today. Uh, right now, as I'm recording this video, Nicholas Batum is currently questionable. Uh, if Batum misses this game, I think Jeremy Lamb is a great play, especially for cash games. Even when Batum has been active, Jeremy Lamb has still been playing really well. Hasn't been seeing a ton of minutes. Uh, when Batum's active, Lamb's been seeing like mid-20s in minutes. Played 24 minutes against the Bulls, 22 against the Clippers, 21 against Minnesota. Uh, but still in those games, he put up 27, 27, and 28 DraftKings points. Uh, and then in their last game against Washington, Batum did get injured in that game. I believe he came out like after the first quarter. It might even have been before that. And Jeremy Lamb played 37 minutes and put up 47 DraftKings points. Uh, so Batum is out today. Jeremy Lamb's going to see a ton of minutes. He's going to see his minutes increase. And at just 5,100, going up against the Cavs, a team that we know has struggled defensively this year. Really good spot for Jeremy Lamb if Nicholas Batum is out today you are definitely going to want to consider him at 5100 And then if we're going to look for some value at shooting guard, I don't really have a ton of interest in any cheap uh, cheap shooting guards today, just not a ton of guys I'm really interested in. Maybe if you want to uh, just a trade-up punt, maybe a guy like Etwan Moore at 3700 going up against Phoenix. We know the Suns played at a very fast pace. They're not a good defensive team. 
Each one more is definitely a risky play, though. It, this guy could totally bust, could only get like 4 or 5x. But at 3700 for him to be cash game, or for him to hit cash game value on that price tag, only going to need about 18, 19 DraftKings points. And going up against the Suns, each one more could definitely do that. Uh, so if you are looking just for just a straight up punt at shooting guard, I think he's definitely in consideration today. Uh, 3700 if you need to go that cheap. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's what I'm seeing for shooting guard today. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to small forward. All right, so up top at small forward, we got a couple studs here, LeBron and KD. Uh, LeBron gets to face Charlotte today. KD's going up against the Bulls. Uh, me personally, not going to be paying up for these guys. Obviously, they're good plays if you can fit them in. LeBron should definitely have no problem getting hitting value against Charlotte. He is expensive today at 11-2, but LeBron's pretty much matchup proof. You can play this guy any day, so if you want to pay up for him, he's fine. KD's going up against the Bulls. We know the Bulls just can't defend anybody right now, but like I said earlier, there's definitely blowout concern in that Warriors game. So at 9,900, I think I'll be shying away from KD today. They're just other studs I like. So if we're going to look for other small forwards that aren't to the top, maybe in the mids here, I think we want to go to this 6K range. Uh, TJ Warren at 6,600 going up against the Pelicans. This is a pretty high price tag on TJ Warren, but the matchup is really good. We know the Pelicans really struggle to defend guards and small forwards. They're good defensively when it comes to defending bigs like because they have Boogie and AD, but when it comes to defending point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, that's definitely a weak spot in the Pelicans' defense. So going to a guy like TJ Warren today, I think he is definitely in consideration. He has upside to return value on this salary. We've seen him put up a ton of games this year, over 40 DraftKings points. I don't know if I'm going to be targeting him in cash games because of this price tag, but for tournaments, he has the upside. It's a good matchup. So if you want to go to him at 6,600, if this game stays competitive, TJ Warren, Devin Booker, both of those guys could have really good games. So I think they're both uh, viable tournament options. And then if we're looking maybe in the 5K, 4K range, at 5,400, this guy's sort of a risky play. Only would use him in tournaments. But Denzel Valentine going up against the Warriors could be a tournament option. Obviously, the matchup, not great. The Warriors are a good defensive team. But they do play at a very fast pace. And we've seen Valentine really thrive in fast-paced games. Played really well against the Lakers, really well against the Suns. And even if this game blows out, uh, Valentine will get some blowout runs. So if you want to go to him today at 5,400, he could definitely return 6x on this price tag. Even if the game blows out, Valentine will still be out there getting some minutes. Uh, so if you want to go to him at 5,400, if you need to go cheap at small forward, I think he makes some sense today as a tournament option uh, at that price tag of 5,400. And then if we're looking maybe 5k and under for some value at small forward, uh, there really isn't any value I really like at this position. Unless somebody gets injured on Friday and we get news like that somebody's going to be starting, I don't think we're really going to be considering any of these cheap small forwards just because they don't get enough minutes. Uh, so I don't think small forward's a position you want to really go cheap at. Maybe look to this mid-tier for a guy like Will Barton, who I talked about earlier, who's small forward eligible. Uh, Jeremy Lamb, you can play a small forward. Maybe a guy like TJ Warren. If you want to pay up this position, obviously you can. LeBron, KD are good plays. Me, personally, I won't be paying up for them because I like other options. But if you can fit LeBron, KD in your lineups, obviously uh, put them in. Um, but yeah, guys, that's what I'm seeing for a small forward today. Let's go ahead and move on to power forward. All right, so up top at power forward, we've got two studs in this position, Boogie and AD. Uh, going up against the Suns. Definitely like paying up for these guys today. The Suns are just not a good defensive team. They played a very fast pace. I think you can't go wrong with either one. Uh, I'm going to be taking the discount though off of, uh, off of Boogie. Going with AD today at 10700 against the Suns. Who like I said are a bad defensive team. The price tag has definitely got up there for AD. We, we're not seeing him like sub 10k anymore. Uh, in his last two games he was 98 Ninety-six hundred today. The price tag rose to ten thousand seven hundred, uh, so that might bring AD's ownership down a little bit. And you know, you always want to get on this guy when he's going to be low owned. He has a ton of upside if he stays on the court. If he doesn't get injured, AD is just one of the highest upside players in the NBA. And going up against the Suns team that, like I said earlier, can't defend. They struggle defensively. They play at a very fast pace. Anthony Davis, Boogie Cousins, both of these guys should just be able to eat in this matchup. Uh, but me personally, I'm going to be rolling with Anthony Davis today. I think he goes off. I think he gets at least 60 DraftKings points. If this game stays competitive, Boogie and AD, both of them should totally smash. So I'm going to be plugging in Anthony Davis today as one of my five plays at Power Forward, uh, 10,700. And then if we're looking for some Power Forwards that aren't that expensive, maybe a little bit cheaper that we can target. I think if you want to go to this mid-tier, uh, Power Forward and Center eligible, Al Horford at 6,900 going up against the Magic. Definitely in play. Uh, we know the Magic. They do struggle defensively against the center. I've said this before, but Nikola Vucevic, not a good defender. Uh, so this is a good spot for Al Horford. Did see a little bit of a price decrease off of what he was his last game. 
in a good matchup against a team that can't defend centers. Horford should not have a problem returning 5x on this salary. Uh, so if you want to target him in cash games today, I think he makes a lot of sense. If you're looking in that price range at power forward or center, go to him today at 6900 now, if we're looking for power forwards that are 6K and under in this 5K, 4K range, uh, maybe some value plays. There's a value play that I think you can target at power forward uh, for tournaments, and that's at 4,800. Uh, John Collins going up against the Knicks. As of late, uh, Collins has really seen his minutes increase. Uh, in his last two games, he's played 36 and 38 minutes, has put up 30, uh, 35 and 39 DraftKings points. Collins did start in their last game against the Clippers. I wasn't on him that day. I should have definitely got on him. I thought he was going to get in foul trouble against Blake Griffin, so I didn't play Collins the other day against the Clippers. Definitely a mistake because he totally went off in that game, nearly put up 40 DK points, did get a double-double. If there is one thing Collins does struggle with, it's foul trouble. This guy always gets in foul trouble, always has a ton of fouls. You just look through his last four games, four fouls, five fouls, three fouls, five fouls, four fouls, five, 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 five. So this guy definitely has a problem when it comes to fouling people. He's going to be going up against Porzingis, which definitely scares me here. Uh, but if he gets to start again, John Collins, especially if he plays the minutes, definitely a guy we're going to want to target at power forward if we need, uh, need to go cheap at this position. I think he is a viable option at 4,800 if he continues to get the start. Um, then I did want to mention the Phoenix, uh, the bigs for the Suns, since they're going to be going up against the Pelicans. The Pelicans have Boogie and AD. I feel like guys like Greg Monroe, Alex Lynn, Ty uh, Tyson Chandler, these guys are going to have to play some heavy minutes. They're all about the same price tag, so if I had to just choose one of them, definitely go with Greg Monroe at 4700 I believe Alex Lynn didn't even play in their last game. Him and or Chandler and Monroe were the only two centers that got minutes in their last game. And in that revenge game against Milwaukee, Monroe did have a really nice game, put up 43 DraftKings points, 22 points, 15 rebounds, played 32 minutes. And now the Suns have to go up against the Pelicans, who have two really good bigs. So they're going to need guys with size on the floor. So Greg Monroe at 4700 for tournaments, I think he makes a lot of sense uh, at that price range. But if Collins is going to continue to start, I would probably prefer him in cash. But both guys in tournaments have a ton of upside. Collins and Monroe, if you need to get, uh, go cheap at power forward or center, I would target those guys. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's what I'm seeing for power forward. That's what I'm seeing for cheap plays at this position. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to center. All right, so at center, uh, if I'm not playing Anthony Davis here, then I don't think this is a position I'm going to look to pay up at. Just not really intrigued by the, a lot of the top options. If you were going to pay up, I'd probably go with Carl Anthony Towns, going up against Whiteside, going up against Miami. Uh, we know Whiteside is not the best defender, so it's a good spot for Cat. Cat's definitely been a little inconsistent lately, though, which kind of scares me. But it is a good matchup for him, so if you would pay up at center today, I think I'd go with Carl Anthony Towns, but... This isn't a position I'm going to look to pay up at. I think there's some options we can target in this mid-tier and towards the cheaper end. I did talk about Al Horford earlier. If you want to go in that 6K range of center, definitely target him at 6,900. You could also target Vucevic on the other side. We know Horford's not the best rebounder, so Vuce should definitely be able to dominate the boards against Horford. So if you want to go to him at 6,600, I think he makes a lot of sense as well. Uh, but one of the options I really like at center is at 5,200. My fifth play today, uh, Steven Adams. Going up against Detroit, going up against Andre Drummond. Uh, I just think this is a really good spot for Steven Adams. I think this price tag, just way too cheap, especially given the production lately. Steven Adams just continues to get the job done. And at this price tag, for him to hit cash game value, we're only going to need like 25, 26 DK points. And Steven Adams has averaged 29 DK points this year. Adams already plays a ton of minutes, but t since they're going up against Detroit, and Detroit has Drummond, they're going to need Adams to play even more minutes today. Uh, so I think it's just a great spot for Steven Adams. I think he's going to get a double-double here. I think he's going to get at least 30 DraftKings points. So definitely a guy I'm looking to target in cash games and tournaments at this price tag. I think he returns at least 5x, has potential to return 7x. Uh, so if you're looking for a cheap center today, definitely think you should be considering Steven Adams at 5,200. Uh, and if we're going for value at center, uh, there's guys I talked about earlier like John Collins, Greg Monroe. I think these are guys you can target for center value. But I think that's pretty much it for Center, guys. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. If this is your first time watching a video on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Be sure to cut on notifications as well. Just click the bell icon next to the subscribe button, and that will notify you every time I upload. So if you never want to miss out on any videos, make sure you do that as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck tonight, guys. Peace. Yeah, oh, she shaking fast. Yeah, she dropping slow. Huh? What? Yeah, neck on fro. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
whoa, 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 whoa.